All right, so it is Dunford and Lane getting the early hole shot. Also running some uh, Losi, not quite prototype vehicles. They're pretty much close to being completed. These ones are a little closer than the car I was just driving. But they are out front in those low C four wheel drive short course trucks down the straightaway, the yellow and the red shelf down the straightaway in the three. Then Mason, the Mason bottles at the end of the straight. Oh my gosh, he's got a whole river of cars to wait for before Timmy T can get to him there. And then shut off. Not uh, sure what happened to that one there. So we got uh, 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 yeah. 45 seconds down, 4.15 left to go for Dunford on 19, 5, 11 pace. Dunford through the whoops. Lane hunting him down through the whoops. Aaron Lane was about a lap slower than him in qualifying, so we'll see what happens here in the main. Lane, after the first minute of the race, hasn't let him get a straightaway ahead, so if he can keep that distance, you will be able to capitalize on a bottle coming out of Dunford. However, I didn't see many bottles coming out of Dunford in this uh, class thus far tonight. But it is the main event and anything can happen as we saw in 8th scale. All kinds of shenanigans going on in that race. The uh, blood feud between Painter and Walnut still continuing. I, could, I didn't see much of it, but I definitely heard, heard the tales upon the driver's stand of uh, Carnage and Mayhem and all kinds of things. Just about two down, still a little over three to go for Dunford. He's a two-second lead over Lane. Shelf about seven seconds back from those top two. With Randy Alexander finally putting in a run here, he's running in the number four spot. Then we've got John McLaughlin in the number five spot. Alex Bernal, is PC, Jonas, Matthew, and Mason rounding out the field for us here. Huh. 2.15 left to go. Ryan Dunford, 21 0. That time by fast lap of the race. 20.4 out of that low C. 8, 10, 4 by 4. I'm going to need to write the name down for this one sooner or later because I know he told me one time, but I forgot. Two minutes left to go, drivers. I know it's based off the 8.10 platform, so it's probably 8.10 something. Or it's based off the 10T platform. But that the 810 is based. I don't. I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm just a driver. Ryan Dunn for your leader. Aaron Lane has since fallen by the wayside. Four seconds back now to Dunford as they head down the straightaway with a minute 30 left to go. Dunford down at the bottom. Aaron still at the top. Aaron dropping back down as Dunford clears the table. Jonas getting upside down. Marshall. Having trouble getting to him there with a whole sea of cars shooting his way. 115 left to go on the master clock. Drivers, 115 to go. One minute left on the clock now. Look at that. Ryan Dunn for 21 2. Lane last time at 20.8. So Lane making up oh, four tenths of a second there. He's sitting 3.2 behind as he heads down the straightaway. Ryan, though, still with a good lead. And a few cars in front of him even to keep the uh, distance well apart from Aaron. It is Aaron in the two, Doug in the three, Randy in the four, John in the five, PC in the six, Art in the seven, Alex in the eight, Jonas in the nine, and Matthew and Mason out early 10 on 11. 30 seconds left to go, drivers. 30 seconds left. Yeah, 
And that is time on the clock. Keep them going until you cross that line. Jonas, you are done. Nine. Doug done three. Ryan done the win. Randy done four. Aaron done two. John done five. Art done six. PC on his final lap here. Doing a little somersault for the crowd. He's showing off for the fans. PC always a, uh, he's always an interesting.